Yo, check it out, guys. So, they just dropped this machine off, man. Um, you see what it's doing? It's working on my range of motion. If you see in the middle of your screen or towards the right of your screen, uh, it says flex. That stands for flexion. And there's a number under, under it. That's 31. That's the, the degrees. The first day, they want me to go 0 to 30. So, basically, um, it's taking my uh l my knee from zero degrees range of motion up to 31 degrees and they want me to increase five to ten every day our goal for i'm gonna put this down for a second our goal for the end of the week is 90 degrees flexion so 90 degrees would be like this that's 90 degrees right so basically this machine will be in con it's, a, it's called CPM, I don't know if I already said that, Continuous Passive Motion. And basically it just passively moves my, my leg back and forth. And it also increases blood flow, which brings more uh, vitamins and nutrients to the damaged ligaments and cartilage, like I've said before in a previous video. Um... Yeah, these areas, they get very little blood. They're not made for blood. Well, the tendons and ligaments are actually much stronger than the muscle. So they're much harder to damage. You know? So they don't really need a lot of blood. Except for when they get injured. Ironically enough, when you do get injured or when you have surgery, which is another type of injury, um, the body's response to that trauma is to create more blood vessels in the area and to bring much much more blood to the area and it actually lasts up to about four months they say, they say right but it's still not like a muscle you know that's why it's easier to to injure a muscle but they actually recover much quicker because they're filled with blood vessels right so anyway i'm not gonna pretend like i'm a doctor overnight or a scientist here but I just say all to say this, this will actually speed up the recovery because it's constantly bringing blood flow to the area. And that's that's what we want to focus on. And, I'm, and with the research I'm doing and continue to do, I'm, I'm seeing that I need to try to constantly bring blood to the area. I was out this morning, as you've seen on my live, trying to help my mom with this stuff because uh, while I get back on my feet, I'm staying with my mom. Then I'll be able to move back home once I'm back on my feet. Hopefully, I get to a place that I can walk in six to eight weeks where I can walk uh, once I take the brace off I can walk without the brace we don't know yet because I've never been through this before but we're going to push it you know uh, but we, of course we're, we're going to do it the right way we don't want to push it too hard but um so I just wanted to I know I'm kind of rambling on but I just wanted to show you guys this machine show you what's going on man this is day two the day after surgery um, we hard at work. I'm supposed to do this six hours a day. They want me to do either three sessions of two hours or two sessions of three. Um, since I just got the machine and I already have plans, I'm going to do this for one hour and then I'm going to go outside, try to move around and get some shots up, you know, keep that blood flowing. We coming back strong, strong, strong. I got a lot of plans, man. I'm going to make money off this. A lot of money. I'm going to hustle this to... I can't hustle it no more. So rock with me, y'all, man. I just wanted to update you guys, man. Hey, man. Salute. Everybody. Hang in there. Everybody that's going through this, man. I'm riding with you. And I'm taking you on the journey with me. So if you're watching this five years from now, hey, I hope that this helps you, man. I hope that this helps you. More of us need to do this stuff. So... You know, because it's hundreds of thousands of people that go through these types of injuries, specifically the ACL, every year. And we need more content. Of course, I'm going to find my way to make my money off of this. But this stuff, man, this I'm trying to give away free, man. Because this is what I, I wanted. And I found some information here and there, you know. But we need a lot more. Because I'm just realizing I thought that this would never happen to me, and it did. You know, it's a part of being a warrior. It's part of, you know, being in the sports or whatever. But um, this needs to be out there so when the inevitable happens, people know exactly what to do and they don't have to be afraid of 
man, what's going to happen? They don't have to be anxious and stuff, you know? So if you're going through this, man, enjoy and post some of your experiences too. Or share mine, man. Just like and share, you know, whatever. We need to get this information out. All right, y'all. King Makulu, I'm signing out. I'll y'all first.